Hi Nathan. Very good afternoon. How are you, Chloe? Excellent. Welcome to our catch up for April uh, here on the couch. It's nice to be back and talking about the autumn colours and look how beautiful it is. As you can see outside. It is. It's getting to that beautiful time of year. And what we were going to discuss today was having a little chat about something we actually talked about 18 months or so ago when we were talking about after the peak of the market how we were going to see a little bit of a gap between vendors expectation and buyers expectation when it comes to the house sale prices. Mm. Um, that's a good conversation to have because I think at the moment even though most of our homes we do sit in pretty quick because and get brilliant prices for it because initially we have a conversation with our vendors and we explain to them, hey, where the market was 12 months ago, where it is now. The vendors has to be very mindful of when you're hiring an agent, don't buy into a listing. There's this thing in real estate is like, give them high expectation to get the listing. Unfortunately, that's what real estate, real estate agents do to get the listing and then go back to them after you get the contract signed that your house is not worth X amount, now it's worth X amount. That way what I call is like, it's a, you've given a high expectation and then eventually we know if a house sits on the market for a long period of time, you never get the best possible price for it, whatever the market is doing. So if you got the high expectation from the start, I tell agents that's the bad start, way to start relationship, then you end up underselling it, which is not ideal for the vendor. So being mindful of hiring a professional who actually give you a realistic price and work out a strategy to help you get the best possible price. And so you think by having a, a really good starting price or a price guide on your property, that will help to make vendors' expectations more realistic mm -hmm. and therefore when the buyers are coming in with their offers, they're going to be closer, there's not going to be a big gap between the two. Yeah, well, it's, it, works, it works like this, Carly, if we have a frank conversation with, our, with, with the vendors, because most vendors understand the market has come back. Agents' responsibility is to explain to them where the market sits, how far we've come back from peak of the market, mm -hmm. and then price it fairly, because you can only get the best possible price for anything, in particular a home, when you've got the property priced fairly. And we've spoken about putting price guards and the importance of mm. in including price guards in your marketing in the past. Absolutely, because it's we're, we're definitely well past the stage. And as you said, most vendors are probably pre, pretty realistic about this now, but we're well past looking at what the neighbour's house sold down the road for six months ago, a year ago, and expecting those sort of prices today. Look, it's, it's a human nature. We always expect the best possible price. We understand the market where it was, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, most people know it's not there. But when a professional comes in, it's our job as professional to explain to them, say, how are we gonna get the best possible price? Because selling real estate for six, in 16 years and being around, around um, real estate and negotiating and selling and talking to vendors and, and talking with, with agents, obviously, my thing is always is you've gotta the vendor to have a conversation with a, with a vendor and work out a strategy how you get the best possible price. Obviously the price is, one thing is like what a home is worth, but our job as professional is to get 5, 10, 15 percent above the, 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 where the market is prepared to pay for it. And the only way we can do that, do that is to price a property fairly um, and create tension around the home. Fantastic. So I think the one biggest takeaway from that would be if you're looking at selling your house, talk to your agent and talk to them in depth about putting a price guide on your property and ensuring that it, it is a realistic price and knowing that they've got a really good strategy in place to put your home out there in the current market. Absolutely, and we've always just had a conversation where I suggest this to clients who are thinking about selling, people that are known, people that are, who, who are just contacting us saying, hey, I want, I'm thinking about selling my house. I say talk, about two, talk to two, three, four, four agents because it's not the agent who's going to give you the best possible, tell you that your property is worth the most. It's not the agent who's going to charge you the least and ch pay for the marketing. It's the agent who's going to get you the best possible price and, and give you a realistic price guide of what your home is worth, but work out a strategy mm. to get you the best possible price because a true professional 
should be able to get you 10, 15% above the market value for your home every single time, regardless of what the market is doing. Fantastic. Brilliant advice as always. Thanks, Nathan. Pleasure.